Greetings, I am Jophiel, Archangel of Unity, Archangel of Balance, Bringer of the Grail, Keeper of Time and yes, I welcome you throughout all time and space, throughout all universes. I welcome you and I ask you to welcome me. You have entered into a new spectrum a new, different reality and I know this as Keeper of Time 4, as the Mother has shifted Gaia into a different wave along the grid, I've had the joy to assist in that and our next step is the creation of the new. Not within the framework that you have known, but in the framework of love the infinite expression of love. Not only to simply know that in an intellectual manner, that you have studied and you understand, know about love, about the divine. When I speak of love, I am speaking of the infinite connection, the creative connection, the divine essence of one and the divine essence of you. You are not separate, that is an illusion that was perpetrated and serves absolutely no purpose. So I invite you into the unity of heart, into the unity of one, into the unity of infinity, into the infinity of you. This is not merely a spiritual or esoteric invitation. If you have one purpose in this incarnation and upon this planet, this beautiful Gianna, it is not to serve, it is to know the infinite wisdom of love that you are, that you have always been, to come into the full brilliance of you. That is your purpose, and it is not something someone can do for you. We are at you beck and call and I mean all of us to assist you in this, but your purpose is unity of you, and from that, unity with all. The mother did not birth you, your guides did not accompany you, as they are ever present, and say, well, let us enslave you, let us keep you down, let us limit you. That would never be never be of love. So the purpose is to in fact sparkle and shine and embody embody. The fullness of your design of your soul design, which is different than mission and purpose. Mission and purpose emanates and is an expression of your design, and it is unique unto you. But the fullness of that, of your mission, of your sacred offering not your service, your offering it cannot be the totality if you are not knowing the totality of your being. And yes, in the mother's new time, in this new normal that you are occupying, that is the task at hand and it is my joy to help you. Chuckling I am an adventurer and I do seek excitement. And I am an archangel of action yes, that is why the channel so often sees me as a pirate. I am out there investigating, exploring, expanding and then bringing the new, saying to the mother, the father, what about this? What if we tried this? And I would like to accompany you in this new framework, as you say to me, what about this? Why don't we try this? I bring patience and action, I bring temperance and courage, and dearest hearts, yes, I will team with Gabrielle and we will bring joy. But I also will bring fun, I will bring laughter, because there is nothing more fun than creating from weaving with love. I speak to you of unity, and in knowing the unity of self, you expand even further into unity consciousness heart consciousness, yes but also full consciousness. This collective humanity has been so myopic so focused on the intelligence of their brain, that so much else has been overlooked. You have a full design and it includes your head, your heart, your tummy, your feet, every particle of you, it includes your sound, your song, your words. I do not come here to critique. I come here to say, beloveds, you have done it, and you are doing it, and I invite you for the next adventure with me. Would you like to come along? Because I would love to have you in the quiet of the night, in the bright sunshine of the day, in the middle of the cities and in the quiet of the Alpine. I will suggest where we will go, and I will ask for your suggestions, and I will go wherever you want, or nowhere. Because it isn't about being busy, it is about being still, because it is in the stillness that creation, inspiration, comes forth. Your days and I know, as keeper of time are expanding. This means, beloved angels, that you have this amorphous energy called time to sit and ponder, reflect, her Linda's favorite option to stare at the wall, to revel in who you are to revel in who you are, the way we revel in who you are. To accept the fact that you are magnificent is not ego, it is not boastful. You are not suggesting you are better than. To accept the fact that you are magnificent is acknowledging the mother's creation. There is magnificence and humility paired as temperance and courage are paired. 
so it is simply a matter of saying yes, and I would not be here from the future into your now if you had not already done so. So turn to me. I will take you on adventures as we sit in your garden and talk to the clouds. You are so loved, and you are my family. Go with my love and go, sweet angels, in unity and union to self, and with each other, and with me. Farewell.